What's up, family? Welcome back to another legendary reaction video. Let's go. Los Angeles Lakers select Bronny James from the University of Southern California. Hello and welcome back to Sportsnet Lakers. I'm Chris McGee. Joining me, it's the Hall of Famer, Big Game James Worthy, my Sportsnet co-host, Allie Clifton, and Mike Bresenhan is going to join us later in the show. A big week and a big day for the Lakers as we take a closer look at Bronny James, the 6'2 guard with the 6'7 wingspan, 25 games at USC last season, 37% from the field, max vertical lead, 40 and a half inches tight for sixth highest in the draft combine. And he is now a Laker. Lakers GM Rob Palinka appreciates the magnitude of this moment. You know, I think about the Los Angeles Lakers. Um, I think about, you know, a franchise where basketball history just sort of unfolds and takes place. I mean, if you think back to the origins of the game of basketball and Dr. Naismith and a you know peach basket and all that's emanated from the invention of the game, um, and you think that. So to me, it sounds like him saying as the Lakers franchise and being a part of history of basketball, they want to continue to make history um, impacting the game of basketball and bringing ever changing value to the game of basketball can, that can never be forgotten. That's what that seems like. In the history of the NBA, there's never been um, a father and a son Duo. that have shared an NBA basketball court. And that feels like something that could be magical. And we know and have to respect, of course, that LeBron has a decision about his opt-out. Um, and I'm sure he and his family and his agent will deliberate what they're going to do there. And, of course, he has freedom to decide whatever's best for him and his family. But if it worked out that he was on our team next season, NBA history could be made. And NBA history should be made in a Lakers uniform. So that's just sort of globally how we feel about the draft moment. But more important than that, is to talk about Bronny James as a basketball player because this is his day and he was the one selected with the 55th pick. Bronny is um, first and foremost a person of high character and second he is a young man that works incredibly hard and those are the qualities we look for in drafting players and adding to our developmental core at the Lakers. He had a great draft workout with us where he displayed um, those qualities to me in a hour lunch that we shared in the building just to get to know each other it became clear that he was a man of character in terms of his work ethic I think we've all seen that lived out too he's not a person that has ever taken shortcuts or expected or been entitled about basketball opportunities He's worked for everything that he's gotten, including being selected today at 55. So it's an honor for us to add him to our program. Coach Reddick is already excited about putting a development plan around him. I'm curious. Comment down below, family. How would they create the roster? You know what I'm saying? Do you feel like the roster is type crunched now? Will they have to make some big readjustments um, to definitely get the team flowing to even be a competitive team because it is going to take some time to build and build momentum and get things in a flow of rhythm. You got new, you got a new face, of course, you know, new faces. To increase his basketball skills and turn him into the player that we think can impact and help this franchise. Interesting. Do you guys believe that Bronny can help the Lakers franchise? I'm curious. Comment down below in the comments down below. I'm curious to have a conversation. Um, and see, where, and see how you guys feel. Wrong. Took to Instagram to uh, share this post before the draft. Not a feeling the world better than being around raising my boys to men. Pops over here getting emotional as hell. Mm -hmm. Just thinking about the journey so far. Thank you both for allowing me to be your dad and be part of your compass through life's trials <laughs> and tribulations. And as they said during the draft coverage, this has been the most anticipated 55th pick in NBA history. And today it becomes a reality. Bronny James is a Laker. Congratulations uh, to Bronny. Congratulations, man. 
You gotta give it to him, man. And the entire James family. And James, it's been a topic of many conversations <laughs> over the past few years, and especially these last few months leading up to this draft, and it becomes official. Bronny James, drafted by the Lakers. Congratulations, uh, because, you know, Bronny is one step closer to doing what I think he really wants to do, and that's, you know, carve his own niche. You know, I think that's what he wants to do. It has to have been difficult uh, to be the son of LeBron James, you know, from high school to his one year at USC. And I think the one thing that he wants to do most is, you know, carve his own niche. That's my alarm. And um, so he's one he's one step closer to doing that. Yeah. And he's had the best preparation. Do you guys feel like this is LeBron opportunity to have that, um, like James Worthy is saying, he's one close to proving not only his own niche, but his identity in the game of basketball. Um, I do believe, and this is just my opinion, comment down below how you guys feel about it. I'm curious if you guys agree with me or disagree. I feel like LeBron did put a lot of pressure on him on top of him just being LeBron's son due to LeBron mentioning the possibility of his son being in the NBA and them playing together further on, but way before this happened because LeBron didn't have to say anything. You know what I'm saying? Let things play out and become what it was. But when LeBron did respond, you know, um, talking to the media, I feel like he did add more pressure to Bronny on top of Bronny already having to show his uniqueness and his own identity and what he can bring valuable to the game of basketball, let alone just him being his own entity, you know? Probably you're ever going to get, you know, Kobe used to say, if you, you know, outwork your opponents, practice more hours, he's already into that, getting the concept of the game from his dad. Mm -hmm. So he's going to have to carve out his own niche. What's that going to be? He's bouncy. He's athletic. He's pretty smart. He has not had a, enough, you know, grooming yet, you know, and USC. And I, I feel like that's why I feel like the NBA is gearing more to drafting more younger individuals at a younger time because they're able to be groom, groom, groom a bow. You know what I'm saying? They're able to be groomed to eventually be the potential pair that they want them to be that fits the franchise. I believe so. I don't know if they really utilize him the way he will be utilized in the NBA. There's a lot of different avenues that he can choose. He can be a pesty defender. Uh, he could be a pull-up three that could get back you up and get a 15-foot or a floater. We don't know. You know, and I submit to you when people talk about, you know, the height and all that, there has been some guys that have played. J.J. Barrera, mm -hmm. I can go back to... You know, Nate Archibald, mm -hmm. you know, guys who are around that. But they, they all find a niche somewhere. And he's, you know, he hasn't blossomed yet. He's still growing. So let's see. We'll give him a chance. And uh, his time is now. He can start to just be brawny. And, you know, you got to like that. You know, Big Game, I think that's the thing that has been so fun for me and cool for me to watch kind of, as you've mentioned, we've talked about it for years to this point, but especially most recently with all the coverage of, there's the history side of all this, right? The historic element to this being the first ever father-son duo mm -hmm. um, to be teammates, to play alongside one another in the NBA. But then there's the personal side of that. And you could argue that he's got one of the toughest journeys to this point for all that he's gone through, but also because of his name. But I think in the very few interviews that we have heard so far to this point from Bar Bronny, most recently when asked what he wanted from himself or of himself when it came to draft day, draft mm -hmm. night, this moment, he simply just said, I want to hear my name called. But to take that even one step further, he's made it very clear that he wants to make a name for himself. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and I think that that's the one thing that you have to appreciate uh, for someone like Bronny James is that there is an eagerness and there's a passion. I mean... And nepotism at its finest. Nepotism is great. It's, ba it's great for corporate. It's great for business. It's great for corporate America because at the end of the day, if you had the opportunity to put your friend that you've been close with for years in a great opportunity um, that you see valuable for them and you can also help them and aid in them to be successful just as you, why wouldn't you? I mean, you would do anything to put the generation after you as a parent. You put your child in a position to be great. Look at Dr. Buss. Look at the Genie Buss. Look at the Buss family um, with the Lakers franchise. Even if they're not the smartest, even if they're not the most knowledgeable, they, have, they can be groomed, they can be taught to put them in positions to be great. And 
you know, if you have the opportunity, well, LeBron, the greatness, all the greatness and the credentials and accolades that he brought to the game of basketball. And then to be in a position he is to be able to bring his son, but also be able to bring all the bags, all the money, all the capital, all the, um, all the growth from a capitalism society because we live in a capitalistic um, country or, you know, capitalism is great, basically, is what I'm saying. And if all his family could get all the bags, his son, um, even their little daughter, even the mom, the wife, even LeBron, if they could get all the bags for the best interests of their family from a business perspective to help build their brand, why not do it? Why would you not do it? You know what I'm saying? To create his own lane and do something yeah. special, and it's something that could carry on and continue to grow for years to come in this league, and I love that for him. Yeah, I mean, listen, it, it, his journey has been unique, right? Uh, I mean, James, how many times in the past few months were you asked about what the Lakers are going to do with the 55th pick, yeah. right? I mean, we all have. I mean, this day was coming, and Bonnie has navigated that. Yeah, I mean, I can't even tell you how how tired I am, especially the last month, everywhere you go. Yeah. You they want to know, uh, what do you think? And no matter what you tell them, you know, sometimes it turns into an no argument. Yeah. Sometimes they come at you telling you, you know, what, what they, you know, what his potential is. And so, you know, I'm just glad that this time has arrived uh, because sometimes I'll just say anything to him to get him off my back. Mm -hmm. But, you know, his time is here. We all have been anticipating. And, you know, um, he, they, they've done a great job with this kid. You know, yeah. uh, Savannah, you know, a, a lot of his genetics come from her as well. So it's yet to be seen. And I've always said, you know, you can, you just have to wait. There have Watch. been, you know, plenty of guys his size, uh, plenty of guys with less experience that have somehow found their way and found their niche. Yeah. But will it happen right away? We don't know. It's his journey. So... And I know when he starts to practice and he can get away from all the fanfare and all the stuff that we have to talk about every single day about him, uh, you know, he, he, he may silently, methodically find a way. It might not be anywhere close to what his dad, but it might be something that can be productive, uh, especially if he gets to floater, if he finds a niche that works for him. He's quick, he's athletic. And so basically right now, I believe that Bronny should just be focus, focusing on his game play his strengths and weaknesses, of course, always building on top of his weaknesses, utilizing his strength to the best of the ability and to be successful in the game of basketball. It's proven he can get there, he can be there, and be valuable because of his character. Character will keep you. It doesn't matter how much potential you got, but your character will keep you and will lead you to be successful because that will drive into whatever you do in life. And for Bronny's situation, being a basketball player, him working and wanting to outwork individuals, in a long period of time, eventually he will find that niche, that niche or niche um, where he can actually be not only productive but great and whatever that may be for his gameplay, you know? And he's still learning. Like, for example, his father, LeBron is great at running the ball in transition. Um, he did master the post-up, you know, fadeaway shot, but great in regards of um, – running in transition, you know, really pushing the pace. So uh, let's see what happens. As a father, you know, you can try and imagine what this day must be like for LeBron James. I think it was back in December of 2021 when he first put out there, like, yeah, it would be a dream of mine to one day play. And I feel like that's where the pressure had begun for Bronny even more. Like the fire to the furnace went all time high. And I feel like, in my opinion, LeBron shouldn't have did that. Do you guys believe that LeBron should have did that? You know what I'm saying? The kid, the kid, just finding himself, man. With my son. And, of course, everyone ran with that. Today for LeBron James, sitting there, hearing his son's name called, and it's on the team that you play for, can imagine it was pretty emotional and a, and a very special day for the entire James game. There is the other element to that, yeah. right? It, yeah. Because also, add to that, your father is arguably one of the greatest to ever play this game, uh -huh. but two-plus decades he is still the face of this league. Yeah, he's 21 that years you old. Are now and now, if he can pass on if, um, Bronny being the face of the league, why not? Pass the torch on to your family member or your closest friend. If that's, look what he did with his friend Rich Paul, his agent. You know, very successful, very well-known agent, popular agent. His value went sky high. You know what I'm saying? So putting your people in, it's not about you. It's bigger than you. And putting your people in the greatest position ever to be great just as you, 
You know, that's that's the way LeBron is dealing with his podcast, his friends, JJ Reddick, putting all these individuals in line of success, bringing it back to the brand of their family. And if they can get all the bags while they can and do their job to be great as a basketball player and build their brand and continue to maybe one day in the league, maybe the little daughter will end up having a, one of the franchises or being owning one of the franchises in the NBA. We don't know. You know what I'm saying? But success at its finest form, and you can't get mad at that. Looking into, um, so I, I think listening to Dave McMenamin report just on, on the small uh, gathering that he and Savannah and the family had there for Bronny in that moment, Bryce putting it out on social media to give you a little glimpse inside what it was like. Um, I, I think Bron probably nailed it best when just saying, no matter what the history is, personally for us as a family, the history for the league, it's about the journey of Bronny. And, and I... I said it to you out in the mm -hmm. newsroom. I can't help but think that less than a year ago, the scary instant health incident yes. he, he went through, um, that was a touch and go moment of life. Yeah. And, and Big Game, as you know, it, this mm -hmm. is one of those opportunities to hear your name called. It's one of the biggest dreams and achievements that an individual person and athlete yeah. can experience. And, and Bronny got that. He did. <clears throat> and he deserved it. And a lot of people don't remember that. You know, it was five months, four or five months. So he wasn't, you know, with USC, yeah. came back a little late, overcame that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I have seen guys that may not have the potential that you need them to have right away, but as they get older, they will build. And as they start to mature, you, you can't standpoint. dictate. So, uh, this is what we all been waiting for. We don't need to, you know, uh, talk about it anymore. Or it's just his time, and I'm sure he's ready to. Well, family, you heard it here. I'm curious to get you guys' perspective um, on it being Bronny time. Um, congrats to Brody. With no further ado, family, until next video or until next time, peace.